All right, welcome to Creator Hardware. And today we're talking about, well, consumer grade server chassis. Now I have a good bit of experience building in consumer grade. Now what I mean by that is we're not talking about used server hardware. We're talking about consumer grade kind of server chassis. So we're talking about like Rosewill and Silverstone and the stuff you can get on Amazon and Alibaba and AliExpress. Now when I say I've got a good bit of experience, I mean, I've got a good bit of experience. I've built in Silverstone, I've built in Rosewill, and I've built in a bunch of rack choice as well as an in-wind chassis, and I've kind of gotten a good opinion of all of them. Rosewell and Silverstone have better documentation on their websites of what the chassis will fit. A lot more details as far as compatibility, whereas the Chinese stuff generally does a piss poor job of that. In fact, most of the chassis I've looked at don't come with any sort of manual at all. <laughs> Not in Chinese, nothing. <laughs> you gotta figure it out as you go. But when you look at them as far as the features and benefits, a lot of the Chinese stuff are kind of a little better. Honestly, the Rosewell stuff is very flimsy. Silverstone's a little thicker metal, not quite as flimsy, and they really don't give you a, as good of a value as the Chinese stuff. Honestly, a lot of the stuff you can buy from Rosewell and Silverstone, you can buy something similar for about a hundred bucks less if it doesn't have a back point in it. Now, as far as the chassis themselves, Rosewell and Silverstone, they're kind of flimsy. They're not really built really strong. They, they flex a lot versus some of the Chinese stuff that is much stiffer metal. Just take that for what it is. They all work. One of the big advantages of using Rosewell and Silverstone chassis is support. You know, you need a part. They still make the chassis. You can get parts for them. Now, back planes is a different subject entirely. Reliability is probably going to be the biggest issue with most backplanes over throughput. You know, throughput, you can look in the documentation on, on the website you're buying it on and see the throughput of the backplane. Longevity is probably going to be the biggest factor. And that's where the, the more traditional brands probably are a better bet, simply because you can probably still get that backplane if it fails. Whereas some of these Chinese ones, you may not. You know, <laughs> you may not find a part number on there to try to match it up on Alibaba or whatever. But if you're looking for something that just holds hard drives with a caddy, don't be afraid to go Chinese. This other stuff made in China, it's just marked up considerably more than some of the other choices out there. And I've looked at a bunch of chassis from Rack Choice, simply because they're one of the biggest brands on Amazon. But look around, look for the chassis that fits your needs, not the brand, because chances are there's a chassis out there that'll fit your needs better than some of those brands. Not picking on them. I've got Rosewell and Silverstone in my rack currently. They're good chassis, but don't be afraid to look around. Kind of why I've been going through some of these chassis for the videos is because there's so many choices out there and so little documentation on them. You know, standard Rosewell cases, there's probably a hundred videos on people unboxing them. It's not worth me doing a video on because there's tons of people out there, but there's a lot less videos out there on some of these other chassis. That's why I wanted to do this kind of series. So I figured I would do a kind of thoughts on them because I think there's a lot of great options out there that people really don't look at simply because they're not as well known as say, Rosewell Silverstone. Now, if there's any chassis you want me to look at in the future, put them down in the comments because I'm more than happy to check it out. As always, thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.